Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Winget UI. So this is a graphical front end for the Winget package manager that Microsoft builds into Windows. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our Windows 10 machine. If we open up a PowerShell with administrator privileges, we want to do winget search, and the package we're looking for is winget UI. And so here we are. If we copy this, highlight, hit enter, winget install some Python things dot winget UI store and hit enter. And in just a moment, we'll have this installed and we could take our first look at it. All right, welcome to winget UI. Enable winget. We've already had chocolatey installed. And why not? Let's enable Scoop as well. So I we'll have three different package managers on the back end. Primarily, we're concerned with Winget, but we'll go ahead and install this. Enter to continue. And here we go. Downloading and installing Scoop. Let's uh, maybe skip that. If it'll let us. There's no progress bar, so we'll pause and we'll come back after this has completed its install. And we come back to the command window that's open and continue that. And we should get winget. Looks like you ran winget UI as an administrator, which is not recommended. You can still use the program, but we highly recommend not running Winget with administrative privileges. Okay, so close that and we'll come to start menu and launch Winget from here as a regular user. And as you can see, you've got a list of software packages that can be installed. Your package ID in the center, version number, and source. So this looks like it's all Winget. And you've got different options up here that can help you. We've also got tabs, software updates. So this is going to be installed software that has an update available. And whereas you would normally come to the command line and do Winget upgrade double dash all, you could simply open the Winget UI and update packages and it should launch updates for us. So we've also got this installed packages list and you can see over here we've got different sources. So Winget is a lot of them. We've got one that's listed as local PC which was a manual install. There's a scoop. Uh, there's probably some chocolatey on this machine, but uh, actually doesn't look like it. So this utility, this graphical interface, makes for a nice front end to Winget. And one of the great things is the search capability. So if you wanted to search LibreOffice, you just start typing and you get LibreOffice and we've actually already got it installed. What if we want to search any desk? Any desk is not available. Likewise, that doesn't turn up anything, but I do believe, actually if we do from discover packages, if we do search for Splashtop, we can see that we've got the Splashtop business and Splashtop personal their SOS 
product and the streamer. So you can easily get set up with splash top if you use that product and get moving quickly without downloading directly from their website. Winget UI and Winget in general offer a great alternative to the Microsoft Store. You don't have to be signed in to use this. We're going to disconnect from Windows 10 and we'll switch to the Windows 11 VM that I've got. All right, so here we are on the Windows 11 VM. Uh, we can again come over here to Terminal Admin. And if we run just Winget by itself, it is installed, included by default with Windows 11. And we could do Winget search Winget UI. And follow the same procedure to get this installed. And we should get our warning because we installed it and launched it as administrator, which is fine. So we'll just close it. Come to the start menu. Oh, it's still extracting some files. Okay. And we do get notifications. Which you can kick this off right from the notification bar. Software updates, update selected packages, and we've got things going on right here. We're gonna cancel that one because I think it started a second time. I guess that's an improvement they can make. They could prompt the user that an operation is already running instead of letting a second update process start for the same package. So we'll see. While that's doing its thing, update succeeded. I'm going to close that. And if we want to do LibreOffice, we've got a couple of them out here. But LibreOffice comes from the Document Foundation, so you want to use the latest version unless you have a reason to use an older version such as the long-term support version which is the 7.4 series. I tend to stay on the latest version and we'll just install that. And that'll probably take a few minutes. It is a fairly large package. Under installed packages you can see that there are things from the Microsoft Store a lot of this is fluff that is included with Windows with the install. And this is a pretty fresh install of Windows 11, so it's there's no surprise that stuff is still there. But the whole reason for having this Windows 11 install around was for demonstration purposes, so that's all right. All right, so this was just a little bit of an overview giving you one more tool to put in your bag of tools of things that you can do with Windows that take you from the regular end user into more of a power user territory where you're doing things that can be more automated. You can do stuff from the command line with Winget you've got the option of Winget UI. You don't have to use this. Generally speaking, I will probably not continue using this, but since I recently discovered this project, I wanted to at least demonstrate it and bring it to the attention of people who may find something like this useful. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm all ears and very interested in hearing back from you. Is this something that you would consider using on a Windows machine? Or do you prefer the command line version like many people do in Linux? Let me know. And while you're down in the comment section, 
Feel free to like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.